Right, in this example, we're going to look at an even trickier ex uh, problem that looks like this. You've got root 2 take away root 10 over root 7 plus 2 root 11. Okay? There are thirds everywhere here. But don't worry. Okay? I keep saying don't worry, but really, don't worry. We're just going to do exactly the same process. Don't let the fact that there are more than one thirds in the problem really scare you. Okay? We're still going to multiply by 1, and as you might already have guessed, we would multiply by the 1, and the 1 is going to look like root 7 minus 2 root 11 over root 7 minus 2 root 11. Okay? There's no real change there. So, we're going to have root 2 times root 7 is root 14. You've got root 2 times 2 root 11 is minus 2 root 22. Okay? So the root 2 and the root 11 combine to make root 22. You've got minus root 10 times root 7, so that's minus root 70. And then you've got minus root 10 times minus 2 root 11. So the two minuses make a plus. You've got the 2, and you've got root 10 times root 11 is root 110. Okay, so that's the numerator. For the denominator, we have root 7 times root 7 is 7. Root 7 times minus 2 root 11 is minus 2 root 77. Then you've got 2 root 11 times root 7 is plus 2 root 77. And then finally, you have 2 root 11 times minus 2 root 11. Okay? Now, when it gets down to these style of multiplying thirds, there's often a little bit of confusion. Okay, and mistakes are easily made. So you have 2 root 11 times effectively 2 root 11. We'll deal with the pluses and minuses afterwards, okay? Because I know it's going to be a negative because you've got a plus times a minus, okay? So you've got 2 times root 11 times 2 times root 11. Okay, so if you reorder these, it becomes 2 times 2 times root 11 times root 11. Okay, so you're perfectly at liberty to reorder the multipliers. Because 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. Okay, it doesn't matter which order you do. So we've got 2 times 2 is 4, and root 11 times root 11 is 11. So this is 44. Okay, so that's how to easily do it without the calculator. Just reorder the things and make it simpler for yourself. So what we have here is a positive times negative, so this is minus 44. Okay. So, the numerator stays exactly the same. Okay. And then on the denominator, we've got the minus 2 root 77 and the plus 2 root 77 cancelling one another out. And then you've got 7 take away 44, so that you've got minus 37 on the denominator. Okay, so I would leave it there. I know that there's a minus on the bottom, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, that's as far as we can really go here. So, we're doing exactly the same process. It takes a good understanding of how you multiply thirds together but this is the hardest style of problem that you could probably get on the exam.